Hi, my name is Forrest with Quick Trip City Electric here in Campbell, Pennsylvania. Today we're going to talk about the five things that you need to know about the safety of your electrical system in your home. It just so happens here we're next to one of our customers and we're looking at their outside service. Some key points here would be the condition. Uh, a lot of times the erosion, whether it be wind, the heat, the hot and the cold during the course of the year can really do some damage. So here's some key points. One is we want to make sure that the service cable is strapped good to the wall. It's not hanging off the wall. The next thing we want to make sure is that the top of the meter base, we have a good seal up top here. We want to make sure that the meter base is solid, solidly affixed to the home. And also that the cabling itself is not what we call sunburnt or even flaky or rough to the touch. What can happen if it is like that, water can get in there and, and go all the way down to the electrical panel and, and create some issues there. Uh, other than that, we obviously don't advise uh, working on this yourself. Please call us. And if you're not in our area, please call a licensed electrician to take a look at it. Now that we've looked at, at the outside of, of one of our customers' homes, here we have an, an example of the cable that I mentioned earlier uh, a bad one where the water was getting into the hole in the cable and going down and actually destroying one of our customers panels whenever we go down into your basement we start with a process of four senses one would be hearing we would we would listen to the panel and see if we pick up any arcing any popping sounds like popcorn that sort of thing any buzzing uh, the other sense would be the visual, where we look at the panel, see if we see any external rust, corrosion. Now this one has a cover off. We certainly don't recommend you taking the cover off of your panel, or even touching it for that matter. There could be a, a severe electrical problem in it. But beyond the hearing and the visual, we have a touch. Now from, a, from a, a safety standpoint, we have the proper tools to go ahead and, whether it be infrared and or touching the panel or, and or breakers to see if it is warm. And then last but not least, um, we also, after looking at the panel, we would probably take the cover off if it was safe to do so and look for any further corrosion. Um, this one here is one of, one of the ones we had recently where because of the water that went through the cable, it had gone down and dripped over the breakers and corroded all the internal parts it even rusted the bottom of the panel but more importantly the reason why this person didn't have power is because in the back the internal parts burned a hole right through the back of it and when I attempted to turn this breaker on there was actual flame coming out of it so I of course stopped at that time went outside took the meter off and we corrected their issue now that you've seen a bad cable and a bad panel, the additional symptoms that, that you would come across as a homeowner, tenant, what have you, would be the fact that your lights are, are dimming or flickering more so than they typically would, maybe even dimming way down and then going back up, that, that sure is a sign. And then also a, a smell, a burning plastic smell in the air or let alone any smoke of course but if you've ever smelled burnt plastic and I sure have um, that's one of, one of the, uh, the two additional items that that we recommend to, to homeowners if, if you smell anything or if you have funny things going on with your lights please call us and we'll come out and do an assessment 